If you don't like complaining, this might not be the video for you. Hello everyone, I am in need of a makeover. I have my coffee here. You may have noticed I didn't upload last week. Oh my god. If you follow my vlogs, you already know. I will link my vlog channel down below as always. I'm trying to get back into that vlogging swing of things. Oh my god. I feel like I just need to sit here and take a really deep breath. It's been a journey at home. Um, it's been a really rough patch, okay? And I don't base all of my confidence, all of my self-worth on the way I look. But the way I look right now is reflecting how I'm feeling inside because I've been neglecting myself. I've not been looking after myself. I've not been doing skincare. I've not been taking care of my hair. I've not been doing anything, basically. So today I'm doing a full-on makeover to kind of just transform myself and give myself some pampering. It's what I love to do. It's gonna make me feel better. It sounds superficial, but trust me, like, sometimes this is what works for me. So I give myself a bit of love. So today we are going to be doing nails. I had to pick off my nails because I have not been able to go to the nail place because I've been sick constantly and my baby has needed me. So that's just not been a priority. You guys know me, I never pick off my nails ever and it happened. My hair is so grown out, look at the roots. I've been so sick out of my brains. It's just never any. Ever since COVID, my immune system has just been like crap and I am picking up every single bug that Porter brings home. I still sound a bit sick in my nasals, in my nasals, and my sinuses like sound a bit nasally. So you'll have to excuse that. My whole like face, I just feel puffy. My eyes are red. I've got hay fever too, which is probably also responsible for like the way I sound right now. I want a fake tan. I feel pale. Come along on the journey of me making myself feel a bit better at home using stuff I have at home rather than going to all of these different salons and things to do things. First step, I'm going to smack on a face mask because my skin has just been through it with me and it's also like dry and flaky because I've been so sick with it being winter and everything as well like everything's just dry I know it sounds like counterproductive to use a clay mask when my skin feels really dry but this one is not drying and it's also going to help just exfoliate off the dead skin it's going to help with the breakouts it's also got aloe vera leaf extract in here jojoba um, and some really nice oils it's alcohol free and cruelty free so I'm going to pop some of this on all over. Sometimes I just use it on my T-zone, but since I've got so much dry, flaky skin, I'm going to use it everywhere. If you're wondering why I don't just put this on with my fingers, I mean, you absolutely can. I just hate when I get face masks under my nails, so. All right, that's just gonna sit on for about 10 minutes. So while that does its thing, I'm gonna begin fake tanning because you could use my body to stop a plane right now. It is so pale. <laughs> Got one of my tanning mitts here. I don't know where any of my open ones are, eh? Like, I don't know. I'm just using my favorite fake tan. I'm sorry that this looks like a hard out plug for my brand right now, but like, these are just all the things I actually use. You can use any tan you want. You don't have to use this one. And you can use any tanning mitt. You don't have to use it. You don't have to use this face mask. Just use whatever works for you and makes you feel beautiful. Okay. Got my old Skims pajamas on here. I love these, but why are they so expensive? Like, riddle me that. Anyways, this is what the tanning mousse looks like. And, oh, oh you know when you haven't fake tanned in a while and then you like pop it on and it's like that beautiful fake tan smell. I mean, some fake tans smell like crap, but this one smells so good. It's like mango-y. And it's gonna pick up a few of the scratches all over my body because I have a toddler. Weird to say that now. He's a toddler now, not a baby, but you know, he likes to climb up on me and scratch me and grab me with his little sandpaper fingernails, but look at that. I feel better already. I'm just gonna do this arm, then I can do it before and after, and then I'll do the rest off camera. It blends out so well. This one's really hydrating too compared to a lot of other ones. Um, that's like what I wanted the formula to be. When I was developing this with Hamish, I was like, it needs to be hydrating. I don't want like the bread skin when it wears off. It's got like hydrating oils and things in it. I still don't fit my engagement ring. I feel like it's getting to the point where I'm just gonna have to come in and get it resized. My postpartum body is not my pre-partum pre body. Is that a word? Prepartum. I love it so much. 
Like, I'm sorry. I know, like, I just bleat on about my own stuff, but it's so beautiful and it makes me feel so much better. I used to tan and bake myself, like, back in the day. I don't know if you guys remember, like, some of my YouTube videos where I had a natural tan and I was so, so tanned and I loved that life, but, you know, sun damage. Right, I'll just finish fake tanning. I'll be back. Um, and we can rinse off this face mask. All right, it's only been like five minutes, but I finished fake tanning. I already feel about 70% better. I think I will just take off the mask now, though. It's mostly dried anyways. You just want to wait until it's kind of dry. This is how it looks. Very interesting stuff, I know. So I'm just using a takeoff mat. So I don't have to do it over the sink. I can do it right here with you guys. And what I love about this mask is it rinses off so easy, as you can see. Lots of clay masks, like, stick, and you have to, like, scrub them off. Which is not what I want while my skin's feeling, you know, dry and average. So you can just really gently wipe this one off. And you can check out the reviews on the website, see if it's something you might like. As much as I don't want to like over plug my products, like I am so proud of them. And thank you guys if you do support my small business. Business is really, really hard right now. Um, it's probably like the hardest patch we've gone through since having my brand. Cost of living is just so much right now, so I completely understand, you know, people are being more conscious with their money. I am too. But if you're considering making a purchase from, you know, a big brand, a big, huge worldwide brand, consider supporting like a smaller business if you can. I know sometimes they're more expensive. I'm not talking just about me, I'm talking about in general. I've been trying to do that lately. Like, if there's something in particular I really want, I will always shop on, like, Kmart and stuff like that. Hello. But if there's something in particular I'm looking for, like, you know, in somewhere, like, I don't know, Toy World has it, versus, like, a small boutique business, like, I'll always try to buy it from a small business instead because your money is going so much further for that person. It's just a really scary time, and I'm just hoping that we make it through. We've got so many amazing products and like we still have so many amazing customers and everything, but yeah, it's just like you can tell. And if you're a small business owner as well, you can probably relate to what I'm saying here. It's not like a poor me, it's just facts. <laughs> now I will be using um, some fake tan on my face soon too, but first I'm just gonna shave my face. Man, I really can't wait to do my hair because my hair is like its own person right now. All right, we've got our Duma plane. We use this, this is really good, the Ordinary 100% cold pressed virgin marula oil. I'm first gonna just take some of my hands. My hands are so dry. Obviously like being sick I'm washing them even more than normal because you know just trying to minimize the germs in the household and oh I do not moisturize my hands enough. I really need to like commit to the hand cream game. I always buy hand creams and then forget to use them. I mean this probably wasn't a good choice because I'm putting on stick on nails soon. Whoops. So putting on a whole lot of oil. I'm just gonna rub that in. I feel like I need to do like a lymphatic drainage massage on my face right now. And then I'm not gonna go like hard out, but I am just gonna clean up the brows and just remove some of the hair. I'm not worried about doing like a full on dermaplane and getting all my dry skin off because I just did that face mask. And I've got some hairs that I should be plucking with tweezers, but I'm too lazy. Because this video is already long enough, so I'm just gonna shave them off. We'll deal with that another day. And my brows are still like holding the tint I did. I think I did it, did I do it on a live stream or like a video a few weeks ago and they're still good. I'm just getting all of that crap. Bit of dead skin, bit of hair. Can you see that? Mmm, tasty. No, the hair does not grow back thicker. You may think it does because it goes from being a tapered tip, like the hair naturally has like a very thin fine tapered tip as it grows out and then you're making it blunt when you shave it but it does go soft again and it doesn't look like thick and hairy. I mean have you guys ever thought I had stubble? Hopefully not. I just get like so much peach fuzz it all shines in the light like <laughs> if the sun shines on my face so I like to remove it and it makes my makeup go on so much better and it makes all of my skincare go on so much better. Honestly guys, like can you see all of that? It's so satisfying to be honest. Oh 
Alright, all done. Here's what came off my face. I lost a little bit, but I tried to collect it to show you because it's so gross. Usually I would like not do stuff on top of shaving my face. I mean, sometimes I do still wear makeup on top, but in an ideal world, I'd just let my skin rest. But we're going in with what was left on my tanning mitt and popping fake tan on my face. I love this tan on my face. It's so pretty. And I find it makes my um, under eye circles not look so bad. I'm just taking a little bit more. Popping that around my eyes. I feel like I need a second coffee. Man, look at all those scratches. It's crazy. Okay, I feel so much better though. I'm going to take down my hair next. I need to go get a hairbrush. I don't think I have a hairbrush in here. Look how long my hair is, guys. I just trimmed it too. Well, not just, but last time I got my hair done, I got layers put in and got a trim. Um, and I need another one. Right, I'm just gonna go grab a hairbrush. Oh my god. My roots. My scalp is so dry as well. I'm using this Tangle Teaser hairbrush. I'm getting a little bit of hair full lately and I don't know if it's because I'm not brushing my hair every day like I usually do. Or if it's like postpartum hair loss but way late because I mean I stopped breastfeeding nine or ten months ago. So you know that would be weird. And it's not like extreme but it's just a bit more hair than I'm used to. I don't know. Is it like stress? Is it from being sick? What do you guys reckon? Either way, luckily I still have that much friggin' hair. A little bit of hair loss is kind of welcomed right now because it's almost too thick to deal with a lot of the time. Like, I just can't be bothered with it. I mean, I don't have thick hair, I just have a lot of hair. My hair itself is like, you know, fine, but there's just so much of it. While I was upstairs, I made myself another coffee. I really wanna like, just take these scissors and like cut my hair. Someone tell me that's a bad idea. Just like, I don't know, I shouldn't do this. Stop it, Shannon. It's because I feel so crap about myself. I'm like, just, just cut it, it's fine, just cut it, but I'll probably regret it. Mm, I did a little bit, but a little bit on the other side. No, I shouldn't. Uh, let's just style my hair. Okay, this is one of my favorite dry shampoos at the moment. It is the Dark Tones Dry Shampoo Moroccan Oil, which I know like you're thinking, why did you get the Dark Tones? You're blonde. But it's actually like a light brown. And I mean, this looks crazy right now, but just trust the process. It actually goes quite light, so. It makes my roots look better. And I probably should have put this in like when we first started the video so that it had time to really absorb. Oh my god, that feels so much better already. It makes your hair so soft and fluffy and smooth. I only washed my hair yesterday, but it already feels crappy. Like I said, I haven't been looking after it. I really need to do like a detoxing, like deep shampoo scrub like scalp scrub i've got dry skin i need to brush my hair every day that's for sure i need to start wearing it in plaits again because it gets so naughty <sighs> it's just i don't know i'm really bad with self-care when everything's just turning to crap around me i completely neglect myself when in reality just taking time to do skincare and hair care and stuff at night and in the morning would make a big difference to like my entire mood for the whole day slash night you know it would really help but when you're in that cycle like it just I don't know Look at these roots man oh my god I might text my hairdresser later today and say that I'm feeling a lot better maybe I can go in like next week as long as I don't end up with another sickness I'm thinking of using my GHD the wide plate one it's called the GHD max um, to do kind of like a smooth flick flicky look I'm just gonna divide my hair up I'm gonna use some of this Knack Hair Thermal Shield. This is almost like a hairspray to me, I reckon. Um, it kind of like styles your hair. So I like to do sections and brush it through. It smells really good. Now I'm just gonna do this kind of motion all the way down to kind of give myself a straight flick look. See how it like kind of curves? We kind of want it like that. Oh, it looks so much better though. I've got this weird like natural half wavy situation going on from letting my hair air dry. Oh my gosh, it's so much smoother. I haven't straightened my hair in so long. Usually I curl it. Oh, 
I'm exhausted from just straightening my hair. Oh, one of my lights turned off, what the heck? Oh, because I unplugged it to plug in my hair straightener. Shannon, come on now. Now before I unplug my hair straightener, I'm going to just check that I haven't missed any spots and I think I'm going to, I don't know, do some kind of style. I was thinking of maybe like doing some volume and then pinning down my fringe. I don't know if that's cute though, especially with the roots I've got. What if I take like a piece behind where like this fringe situation is, smooth it down. And kind of like tie it behind. I feel like this would look so much better if my hair was blonder. I'm gonna tie up this hair. God, this looks like a mess. Hopefully, we can trust the process and actually make this work because I'm not good with hair. I'm gonna use my stay in place stick, which is this thing right here. It's so good for flyaways or smoothing your hair, it doesn't want to focus. There we go. I look like an elf right now. I'm just gonna use this to make the hair super slick. And then I'm going to take the hair around my head and tie it with like a elastic around the back. Nice and tight. Okay, we've got our fringe now. All right, I'm gonna turn this off and put on my lights now because it... let's take down the back and give it a brush. Fringe really needs to be shorter for this look. Once the makeup's on, hopefully it comes together a little bit, I feel like the back needs like volume but it's really hard to get volume when my hair's this long and heavy. Do I just put that back too? I'm just gonna clip up my hair because I will be doing my makeup next but I've decided that once I do my nails I'm about to show you some nails that I got from Kmart. Real affordable. Once I've done those I'm gonna do this video in two parts. I'll upload the second part later this week because this has just gone on for so long already. It's been I don't even know like two hours. By the time I edit this, it'll be, you know, much shorter, but still, I feel like this video is long enough. And I'll upload the second part of this, which will be the makeup later this week, because it's kind of, you know, the same video. And I want you guys to see it ASAP. It will also make it easier for me to edit and get up ASAP for you guys. And everyone cross your fingers that water doesn't bring home any bugs later today. So, like I said, I couldn't get my nails done. Um, my nail lady is self-employed. She's, it's just her. And I cannot risk getting her sick because if she's sick, she's self-employed. She can't, you know, she can't do anything. Like, she can't get sick pay or anything. Like, that's her livelihood. So, I don't like going to services and things when I'm sick. I just think it's, like, not the right thing to do. So, until I'm feeling better, which, like I said, I feel like maybe next week. Fingers crossed. I might give her a text later. Um... Until then, I was like, how can I make my nails look good? Because I've got the sponsorship I need to do. So I went on to Kmart, because they ship so quick, and just got some fake nails. These are just like cheapy little stick-on. So I got a bunch. I showed them all on my vlog, and I don't know which one to go for. I kind of love the butterflies. Maybe I'll do the butterflies. Now I've changed my mind. I feel like these go better with um, what the brand is. I still have to get changed and find earrings and necklace and all of that stuff. But we're going to give these a go. Oh my gosh, like I said, I put oil on my nails before, so they probably won't stick very well, but whatever. Buff, clean, and dry nails. Um, okay. The glue on ones. I feel like I always react to the glue. Like, I wish they had those, like, sticky tabs instead. Oh no, I'm scared. I'm just gonna take the nail file I got from Kmart as well. I'm going to gently just scuff up the surface of my nail. I'm not putting much pressure on. I'm just, like, gently, gently buffing just the surface just to give it something to stick to. I swear like half the time when I use these nail glues I like have a reaction so I'm gonna try and not let it touch my skin. I'd rather these fall off later today um, once I've done all my work then you know give me a reaction. I'm gonna like push back my cuticles. I don't have a tool to do this but. Alright I'm just gonna go around and do that on each nail. Alright I roughed up all of my nails and gave my hands a really good wash. Don't have any alcohol wipes or anything but like I said I'd rather these not last an eternity rather than pop off later. <laughs> if you want nails to last even longer I think you're supposed to like dehydrate your nail right? 
Anyways, so in here you get a glue and you also get all of the nails. So I'm just going to measure out my nails now and just see which ones I need. And I'm just going to place them in front of me in order so I don't get confused. These are so cute. Like they look really pretty. You can actually get like handmade ones from lots of different like small businesses and things. But I was just in a hurry and I knew that these would ship so fast and they did. They arrived like two days after I ordered them. Okay, so you only get two of each size. So hopefully this works out. I'm just like lining them up. I mean, you guys know how to do this. I know you do. But in case, just seeing which ones kind of like fit the best. I'm honestly not being too particular because like I said, like I'll probably pull these off. And maybe I'll start with my like hand that I'm awkward on. I need to like cut this open. Yeah, I have to cut the tip. Okay. I'm glad I did my hair first because otherwise I feel like I'm going to get my hair stuck under the nails. Do you know what I mean? Just doing a couple of dots on my nail. You can't see. I'm going to push the nail on and I'm trying to make sure that I don't get any... That stuck really good. Um, trying to make sure I don't get any ear bubbles. Looks pretty good. Okay, so the day's halfway gone and I haven't even done my makeup yet. I'm just filing the tip because it had a bit of a funny little bit of plastic on there. But yeah, okay. Should I be doing the pinky first? I don't know. I'm going to keep doing this and I'll come back and show you the results, I suppose. The nails are on. I'm not a huge fan of the shape and I don't know if it's just because I'm so used to like having my natural nails lately. I haven't had like acrylics or like extensions or anything on my nails since before Porter was born, so in over a year. Um, so, I don't know, it's probably just that. But I think they're really cute. I think the colour choice is good for this because I haven't glued them down super well. Um, and I feel like if it was like a bright colour, you'd be able to tell. But just for today, I don't know, they're kind of good. Definitely think if you can get like handmade ones, small business ones, like I've, yeah, I've definitely had better ones than these. They aren't like the best quality but in saying that they were very affordable so that's cool do makeup next i will come back and just show you what it looks like so you can get a bit of a sneak peek but actually wait on let's just quickly put on some face cream because i just feel like i could do with more moisture i'm going to use the proud skin sorbet skin moisturizer isn't it pretty looks like sorbet which i guess is why it's called sorbet skin <laughs> oh my god that feels good Okay, so yeah, I will be back to show you the finished look, but I hope you guys enjoyed just this really chill, chit-chat, pampering sesh. Hopefully some of you guys could relate, hopefully it didn't piss too many people off, people always get pissed off when I complain or say I'm not feeling pretty and stuff like that. Just because I don't feel pretty in this moment doesn't mean that I'm not confident without all these things, like I said, it's just a combination of everything that's been going on in my life I just felt a bit down and I definitely feel so much better already and I cannot wait to put on glam and like get changed out of my pajama top so I will see you for part two soon and I will see you in just a second to show you the look I feel so much better oh my god thank gosh for makeup I love this makeup look like look at the eyeliner I'm obsessed so make sure you tune in for my next video I'll get that edited ASAP and uploaded ASAP for you It'll be up in a couple of days hopefully I'm just obsessed I love 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 there was a little bit of a makeup disaster though with the foundation not gonna lie it was a bit of a mere but Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know if you like videos like this or not. Let me know. It's a little bit of a weird one because it's just like, I don't know, just me doing things and it's not really anything. But if you enjoyed watching it anyway, please let me know and I can do them sometimes every now and then. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me um, while I navigate life. You know, it's definitely a lot different with a child. You know, I can't just do everything I want to do. I can't just stop and do work when I need to like I used to be able to um or when I would like to do work like I can't always just be like oh, I feel like filming I'm gonna go film especially when I'm sick all the freaking time it's that's the hardest part I think is you know I can deal with sleepless nights and looking after Porter when he needs me of course but like when you're sick as well on top of that it just makes everything much more challenging um especially with your energy and everything like that and just mood like it definitely got me down in the dumps a lot um, mentally. My mental health's just not been the best. So I'm really happy to have just been able to like 
you know, sit down and film and talk to you guys today. And I look forward to reading your comments. And yeah, thank you guys so much for being here for me. I appreciate you more than you will ever, ever, ever know. And I will talk to you guys later this week. Bye-bye.